Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm here with this camera again. I just made a video about how to remove the top plate and how to reapply the top plate correctly. And I was trying to figure out a focusing problem that I have with this camera. So I shot a test roll that's drying right beside me and I'm gonna post some photos from that at the end of this video. But first I just wanna say that nothing seems to be in focus on that test roll. I tried zone focusing out my window raining out today pretty hard so I didn't really want to go out so I uh, just shot some photos out my window and those don't look in focus at all and the ones that I shot about here to my subjects whatever they were seem pretty darn crystal clear but I'm unsure you never know once you get a scan in things can look a little bit shifted so I will say probably won't be using this camera out in the world very much until I fix it. I'm kind of convinced that it is a focusing screen issue and nothing to do with the prism, nothing to do with the actual eyepiece, nothing to do with the lenses, nothing to do with the mount. There are a lot of potentials, <clears throat> but I really think it is just something with the old focusing screen is weird and off and I don't know what to do about it. So I'm gonna look into getting a new one but that all depends, because I don't really want to invest too much money into this camera. But I will say that it is a very, very nice camera. And if you can find any seller or any store with one of these that is guaranteed to work, pick it up. They're cheap, really well made if they're working. I believe they're serviceable. I think people will probably invest their time servicing these for you. It's very, I don't know worth doing they're you know they've got a weight they feel very nice the advance is nice they are a bit loud so there is that but it's not overwhelmingly loud I think the Pentax Spotmatic is actually louder that I use so that's something to keep in mind I don't think people get super freaked out if you're walking around doing street photography with one of these but who knows everybody's on edge these days um, so anyways, the lens that I have on this that I did my test roll with is just a Jupiter 8, the one with the tab, the focusing tab down here. I love this lens. I have shot a few not even full rolls on my Leica M3 with like a photodiox adapter for this. And the photos have always kind of turned out a little bit bizarro, like a bit more soft than I was expecting, but I've also had that with my Voigtlander 40 millimeter lens, um, the 21 millimeter Voigtlander lens, all on my M3, so that's probably just user error. Uh, I wouldn't really blame this lens. I also have another model of this lens, which is the one without the focusing tab, and that one has, when you focus and you're turning the barrel, kind of the whole lens element, like the whole block, turns with it, so all the information turns um, and it's just a little bit weird and it might I think that that model that's just how it works um, this does not do that and I really like this lens it's well made it's light if you can find one with good glass it's great this front element is pretty scratched up uh, the bottom element or the rear element is pretty clear so I'm hoping for the best and I didn't shoot anything outside and it is really cloudy out today so I think that mm, there won't be any light like any flaring or anything but we'll see this camera is just really great there's no hype about this camera at all and that is good because it's gonna stay cheap and if you can find them which they're all over the internet they're worth picking up if it works it'll probably last for a really really long time if you can learn how to service it yourself, the better. That's kind of my plan with a few of my cameras is I just wanna get to the point where I can do the work on them and bring them back, do, do regular cleanings, not have to send them out. Not that I don't wanna keep people in business. Uh, I really don't mind supporting camera technicians, but if I can do it, then I would feel pleased with myself. So, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled for these. They're very nice access to great lenses. Supposedly they don't um, work with L39 lenses correctly and they have a hard time focusing and that could be the issue with 
this, but I have no idea. Um, I think these are M39. Don't know. But you still have access to some very good Russian lenses and some other lenses that are out there. So um, I don't use the self-timer. With old cameras like this, I wouldn't recommend using a self-timer, but I, I don't ever use self-timers. Uh, if, if that's like your main goal is to do photos with self-timer, maybe pick up a different camera, but it is on here, and the flash sync is right here. It's pretty nice. Uh, when you're rewinding, there's a little button here. You kind of want to hold that down the whole time that you're turning this to rewind the film, and once you're done, you'll hear the film kind of pop out and then you kind of rewind it fully into the canister, or you could just stop, take your finger off, take this little tab, pop the door open, ba-boom, and there you go. And yeah, it's a one of the, it's kind of like a early Barnack style shutter speed selecting, so you, you know, pop this, pull this up, and then turn it. At a certain point, it, it will only turn one way, so don't force it. It kind of has a little bit of resistance, you'll see that. Yeah, it's got like a, a self-resetting you have to reset your film counter, but it's kind of nice because you don't have you won't have an issue with it just not working all of a sudden and being like, what frame am I on? So those are always kind of nice. Very simple camera, no light meter, well made, and that's about it that I have to say about it. I'm excited that I got it even though it doesn't really work, and I hope these photos that I'm about to show you turned out okay. And thanks for watching. Here they are. Sorry, I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good.